Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be on the laser, figuring out how to make boxes with finger joints. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right guys, here we are at boxes.py. The site I found through other videos, uh, it's got a lot of pre-built stuff in here. We're gonna do the burn test. The first part, uh, we're leaving it, we want squares. Each individual box piece we're going to do is 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So one important thing here is the format. You have to do the DXF um, or else it won't kick out right for Lightburn. So if you're using Lightburn, remember to format it in DXF. So we've got two pairs. The steps we're going to go at 0 0.01 millimeter and the burn correction here in millimeters we're guessing uh, from what I've seen one millimeter might be a little bit too much so we're gonna start at dot oh six and then it's going to go up 0 0.01 from there so that correction number right there the 0 0.06 uh, that's kerf is really what we're setting it's the correction for how thick the laser is actually going to cut into the wood Kerf being how thick your blade is, in this case it's a laser. Um, and if you cut it dead on, essentially you're going to lose some of the material that you are expecting to have. So we've actually got to set that correction in there so that it favors that side and you've got the right amount left over. We don't know exactly what the kerf is of the laser, which is exactly why we're doing this test, uh, so that we can figure out what the right setting is for these boxes. So instead of wasting material trying to make a box, <laughs> we're going to do this test of the four pieces with uh, different settings on it. Alright, so we have imported it into light burn. The numbers are a little big, so we need to shrink those down and fit them where they go. So here we've just got them all selected. Uh, you can go up to the height button and just drop it down. I am uh, setting this on a separate layer completely so that we can change the burn settings later because this is just a little engraving and not a cut. So we don't want uh, <laughs> yeah. to try to cut it. Uh, and the boxes are in a separate layer as well because we want those to be actually cut out. We're, we put it in this order, uh, the engraving of the numbers first and then the cutting out of each piece just so uh, if we cut it out first it might fall through and then the, it'll just mess it all up. Right. Yeah. So engraving speed, uh, like we've done before, 3,000, 30%. Uh, we don't care for it to be super great engraved, just enough to read it so we can tell uh, where to fit it. I'm um, going to use offset fill. Probably could have just done fill. Doesn't really matter. Uh, again, this is just to uh, get it on there so we can see what it is. Right. Yeah. And then the uh, cut settings for the um, outside boxes. Uh, 385% four passes. We'll start with that and see how it goes. This is the first time trying to cut this wood uh, mm -hmm. since we bought it, so our settings could be a little bit off. Um, you know, it's figuring it out, and this is a test, so we're gonna do it this way. And just previewing it to make sure that it looks right and doesn't look weird. All right, we're happy with the preview, so we're gonna go ahead and get this out on the laser.
All right, so here we have our four uh, test cuts cut out. And notice uh, we've got matching numbers on each side. So those are the ones we're gonna put together and see if they fit. You notice that's way too loose. So we need bigger. So we'll try the 80s. It's a little better, still too loose. One. Better. Still a little too loose. Elevens. Getting better. Actually, that's not good at all. Twelves. Ooh, that fits real well. We want room for glue, so we don't want it to be super snug. But that fits good. Let's see what the 1.3 feels like. Yeah, that's not very good either. It's a little snug. If it's okay, definitely going to be the 0.12 millimeters. Um, and that'll be awesome when we glue those in there. Just a little bit of glue will get that to hold. So when we do that, that's gonna be our kerf that I explained in the earlier video. Uh, fits great. A little bit of slide, which is fine because we will be gluing those together. So that is what we will do uh, when we do box uh, cutting with finger joints. All right, so that burn test went pretty well. We yep. probably could have done another pass or two on the outside of the boxes. There were a couple of spots that it just didn't want to let go. Right. Uh, so while we're out here playing around, we thought, why not do another cut? Um, so we're going to try a box with flex. Yeah, yeah, a flex test essentially. So uh, we know the correction setting that we liked. It was 0.12. Uh, I'm going to shrink this to 550. Sorry, I'm going to shrink this down to 50 millimeters wide and 20 meters depth. So that's just your X and your Y because I don't need this to be huge for our first test. Uh, it's just a small test to see if it works. Uh, again, same thing. DXF so that it'll run in there. Z will want the reference. Um, and it's just you know, picking the sizes that you want. So let's get this into Lightburn as well. All right, we have it imported into Lightburn again um, and just previewing it to see how it's going to go. Right, and if you see in this preview, these extra lines that are up and down in it, they're not cut fully the width of it. They, they keep it from breaking but allow it to it's flex. Uh, we also sped it up a little bit. Yeah, we moved it up to 600 millimeters a minute and doubled the passes. So we're doing eight passes on this one. All right, well, let's go throw it out there and see how this one does. Absolutely.
All right, here we are with the flexed piece. I did turn up the amount of passes on this one a little bit and sped it up faster. So I did like 600 millimeters a minute with eight passes uh, and it worked way better, uh, just cleaner. Um, I should have done these lines before the outside just in case this actually fell out because then it would have been unable to do the lines. So I needed to separate it like how I separated these to do the numbers first and then the cutout. So do the inside lines first and then the cutout, but it works great. The flexibility is awesome. Whoops. Flexibility is awesome and uh, we'll be able to make anything we want with that with a nice curved in or a top that bends down to close. Uh, you know, we'll figure out something that we like and uh, make something cool. Alright guys, that's all we have for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.